the World Athletics Championships in Qatar distinguished itself as one of the major world sporting events this year. As the world missed out on retired track greats Usain Bolt and Mo Farah, Africa enjoyed watching her champions retain their titles while also welcoming new stars to the global showpiece. CGTN's Mohamed Abubakar recaps what was an exciting championship in Doha. World Athletics President Sebastian Coe described this year's World Championships as the best in history in terms of the quality and depth of performances produced by athletes from more than 200 nations. Chetkovic, the fastest woman in the world. Africa boasted a number of top performing countries, Kenya topping the charts with five gold medals and securing a total of 11 podium places throughout the competition. Their East African neighbors Ethiopia and Uganda were among the dominating African countries, with Ivory Coast, Burkina Faso, Nigeria, Namibia, Algeria and Morocco also contributing to Africa's total tally of 27 medals. It's a one-two in glorious fashion for Ethiopia. Overall, I, I have been quite happy with the way African athletes have performed. Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda have always been there. But also good to see newcomers like Burkina Faso winning medals in events that a lot of people didn't expect them to really win. So overall, I have to say I'm quite happy, just a little bit disappointed that we didn't do too well in the sprint, which we usually do, South Africa and Nigeria. Doha witnessed several breakout stars from Africa. Kenya's Ruth Jepingetich winning her first major marathon title, Burkina Faso's Fabrice Zango winning his country its first medal ever at a world championship, but it was Uganda's Halima Nakai who shocked the world when she won the women's 800 meter final. You know, Casta wasn't coming and everybody thought, okay, this title was going to go to somewhere else, but the title still remains in Africa and she put on a show and she was relentless to beat R.G. Wilson the way she did in the last 50 meters when R.G. Wilson had run all of the fastest times in the Diamond League the whole of this year and was favorite to win the competition. That was ridiculously good uh, from, uh, from her. Harsh weather conditions were a main concern throughout this year's championship. Temperatures went as high as 40 degrees Celsius with average humidity of around 75 percent. But Qatar's modern and state-of-the-art facilities allowed for a conducive environment for both the competitors and the fans. We have witnessed great, great performances. I've seen facilities that have been the envy of the world. And I've also seen, spoken to athletes on the warm-up area that tell me that they're really enjoying their time here and they're in an environment, particularly in the stadium, with the air conditioning that makes the conditions almost perfect. The organization was very perfect. It's very, very unique and I don't regret coming. And more also, I like the setting up of the, of the stadium. It's very, very unique and I believe that Qatar is doing very great work. The first ever World Athletics Championships to be hosted in the Middle East and there was never any doubt really that Qatar wouldn't be able to deliver a spectacular event. As of now, the next scheduled World Big Sporting Event is the 2022 FIFA World Cup. And this magnificent stadium behind me is just but one of 12 venues set to host the global footballing showpiece in three years' time. Mohamed Abubakar for CGTN, Doha, Qatar.